Hi everyone, I'm Marcus with DTF Station. In this video, we'll go over how to assemble and test your Prestige R1 printer, step by step. If you haven't watched the Quick Start software installation video, please watch that video first, before proceeding to this setup video. Please prepare a screwdriver, Allen wrench tool set, scissors, and a blade. Inspect the printer box for any damages. If you notice any damage, please do not open the box. Wait for a DTF station technician to review the situation and guide you through the next steps. Locate the silver CE sticker label on the box as it contains the serial number needed to register for your printer warranty. Warranty registration must be completed within one week from the date you receive the product. For US customers, Failing to do so can result in the warranty date shifting to the ship date. Also, it may affect your entitlement to the conditional print head warranty. Remove the pallet straps and the pallet wrap. Important! Please keep the original printer box and pallet packaging for at least six months as it relates to your warranty coverage. Use a blade to carefully open the printer box. Please note that the contents may change, so take a picture of your printer packaging in case you find any missing items. If you are missing any required items during the setup, stop the installation and contact your dealer for assistance. Keep all the items taken from the styrofoam in a safe place. You won't need all these items during setup, but some extra supplies will be needed later. Remove the styrofoam from the box and carefully lift the printer out. The printer weighs around 87 pounds. We recommend two people to grab the printer from the sides and lift it out while another person slides the box out. Once it's out of the box, remove the plastic bag in the same way you removed the box. Before discarding the plastic bag, Check to ensure there's nothing inside, such as a wasting container. Press the waste ink container alarm button and flip the bottle upside down to test if it works properly. Here are all the items inside the printer box. Find a spot for the printer, away from direct sunlight, cool and dry place. The recommended humidity level is around 30 to 40 percent and the temperature should be about 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. Place the printer on a sturdy flat table. In this video, we are setting the printer on the Print Pro table. Please contact your dealer if you are interested in purchasing this optional table. Running the printer on an unstable table may cause errors and shaking during printing. If you purchased an optional stand for the Prestige R1, please refer to the Print Pro table setup video. Locate the bag of screws and find the 16 medium-sized Allen screws shown in this video. Align the media brackets at the back of the printer, ensuring the bracket leg is resting on the table. Place all the Allen screws in, but do not tighten them until all 16 screws are in place to level the brackets to the printer. Once all screws are in, tighten them.
locate the film holders, loosen the knob screws, and thread the film holder into the media bracket rod. Center the rod and tighten the screws holding the rod, as shown in the video. Avoid over tightening, as it can bend the rod. Level the attachment to the printer. It is crucial to keep the rod, media bracket, and film holder level with the printer, as this is often overlooked. If the film holder is not leveled, you may notice the film shifting from left to right during printing. Remove the protective tapes and films. Unlock the carriage L-bracket. Please, keep this L-bracket and screws, along with other supplies that came with the printer, as you will use these in the future. Plug in the power cable. Turn the power on and turn the red emergency stop button to release the power to the printer. Important, observe the printer's motion and stop the installation if your printer behaves differently. First, the screen will turn on and display initializing before moving to the status idle. The printer carriage will slightly move out from the home position and then return. Pressing the left button once will release the carriage from the home capping station position, activating the printer bed vacuum. If the printer is not in the home position, you will hear the printer bed vacuum running. Once off the capping station, press and hold the left key to move the carriage fully to the left. Press the right arrow key to move the carriage back to the right. Press the enter key to return the print head carriage to the home position. Use the up and down buttons to move the pinch roller forward and backward. If everything works as shown, you are all set to start the software installation and ink charge. Thank you for watching.